okay, I decided not to go on and finish these off with without showing you what I was going to do to them. So, to actually add a little more detail to the, me and this paper towel, to the coneflower, I'm going to take a little bit of that burnt sienna. Let me get my brush just right. Loaded for a side loaded float. And I'm just going to, touching actually on the petals, float that burnt sienna just under that cone. And if you'll notice what the difference in it does, it actually kind of sets it into the petals instead of it, like on this one, looking like it's just dangling on top of them. So let me get this one done. And you want to do this with just a thin, oh, excuse me, with a thin float of color. That one got a little wide on me, so I had to take off some excess. So that one's going to be just about done. If you wanted to go back and add any other little foliage, greenery, or whatever, now would be the time to do it. I'm not really going to fool with that on this one. But for this one, since I'm actually going to layer it onto a chipboard ATC to be the, the torn songbook page layer on the, the, AT, the chipboard ATC, and I'm not going to do anything to this chipboard as far as coloring it or doing anything to it. I'm going to leave it plain like it is. But what I'm going to attempt to do here is take a little of that burnt umber and do an ever, ever, ever so thin wash because we've already applied the matte medium to our entire piece. So what the matte medium does, it helps when you put the moisture on the paper, normally you would get this peeling of, of the paper surface where the, the paper wants to start rolling up, but that matte medium gives you a little bit of work time on top of the paper with a rather wet medium and surface, and it doesn't peel up. Now, you can't just keep working it, but it does give you a little bit of repel time. So, I quickly took the, the watery burnt umber mixture and kind of brushed everywhere I knew just the, the white of the book page was. But now what I'm going to do to create a, a subtle effect to the actual painting, I'm going to wipe over the entire piece, making sure that I get all of the painted surface with that thin coat of burnt umber wash and it actually makes it now look like it's an older painting. It, it ages it without you having to do a whole lot to it. But because that matte medium was already there, once this dries, all of that kind of bonds together. Now, because we have the matte medium on this piece, we can do the same thing. I have not played with this one that much, so I'm going to have to watch my amount of water, and I'm just trying to kind of brush mix it here as I go, but we're going to do the same thing, but because it's on a background page, we don't have to worry about just staining the background first, so I'm going to just brush it over the entire piece. And it actually gives a very similar look and deepens that that patterned paper on the background just a smidgen, not a whole lot, but just a smidgen to where that takes on a very pretty look. I actually like that very much. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, this one is a little bit drier. We're going to take a piece of craft sponge. And I cut my, my round craft sponges into just little bitty wedge pieces. It gives me a little handle to hold on back here, but a little wider surface here. 
I'm the worst person about forgetting to rinse them out, so I try to take one large round sponge and get lots of little pieces out of it so that I don't feel like I have been overly wasteful. Now we're just going to load some full strength burnt umber into the sponge, but then we're going to pounce it onto the palette so that it kind of blends it. And then holding your piece of torn paper that you've already done all your work to. This is still a little damp, but I'm going to attempt to do this so I can show it in a shorter amount of time. You want to hold your piece good and firm and take that paint on the sponge and brush it all the way around those edges. I showed this in a video where I did the, showed the whole tearing the, the paper and, and everything, but this one I just wanted to show the, the finishing of it. Got a little, little strong on that edge with the paint. So we'll go back and actually deepen this side and across the top so that it it kind of matches. And that's one of the advantages. You can always go back and, and retouch up or add to, but not so easy to take away from. So this would be the piece finished. And then it would be mounted onto the chipboard ATC. But because I want to carry that same sponged edge look. That's all we're going to do to the, the base ATC is sponge that little bit of dark around that edge. And this goes on and, and is very quick to do. And you don't have to worry about it being too exact or too even since this is going to be your background. It's not going to matter that much. And I've achieved getting burn umber paint all over my fingers now. So when that is attached on there, that's the look that you'll have for that particular ATC. Now, I'll see if I can quickly, with some matte medium, show you how I would adhere this. I would take and put a quick thin coat of matte medium on the chipboard ATC, then a thin coat on the back side of my ATC layering piece. And you want to quickly get that as even and as like it needs to be as possible. Then just kind of press it into place well. I like to just blot it with some paper toweling so that it will remove some of the excess from around the the layering piece and that's your and all you have to do to make this a bigger picture is increase the size this is ATC which is two and a half by three and a half I've done this exact same thing making four by sixes and framed them I've done it on five by sevens and I've done it on eight by tens this would be just the ATC alone like it is for a trading card, if you want to go back and add that deeper edge around it, which to me kind of gives a framed effect without having to do a whole lot to it. More brown paint there. And then that one would be just as finished as this one is. Just two different versions that are done. Not sure how well that's showing up, but maybe you can see it. 